Now to a story that's getting some serious side eye and also backlash. Kite Baby, a baby clothing company, is now apologizing for a second time for denying an adoptive mother's request to work remotely while her baby was in the NICU. Customers criticized the first apology as insincere. Thinking back, it really was a terrible mistake. I own 100% of that. I fully realized the um, impact of my action, my decision, my short-sightedness, um, that I did not accommodate Marissa fully. So that was CEO Ying Lui going off script this time. In her second apology video, she offered Marissa Hughes her benefits, pay, and position with the company so long as she still wanted to work there. Hughes adopted a son in December, and the premature baby is being treated nine hours away from the family's Dallas home. But the new mom says her request to work remotely was denied, and she was fired after not returning from her two-week maternity leave. Hughes shared her story and the internet rallied behind her. Now the company is working on policy changes to prevent yet another HR blunder. We're really encouraged to hear that there will be some changes made for current and future employees at the company. So Hughes said it would not be appropriate for her to return to the company. Her son is expected to be in the NICU until about March. But obviously causing quite a stir. Yeah, and people calling for a boycott of the mm -hmm. company and getting rid of their clothes. It's, see how this all plays out in the end. Christy, thank you.